guys welcome back to another video and today we are doing a button combination lock for any door you can have a two by two piston door or any type of piston door you can put right there uh pretty pretty simple redstone and yeah let's uh show you how this works so uh, you can change your combination to anything so then you walk through press the button and it resets the whole thing so nobody uh, nobody can follow you in nobody will be able to follow you in after you press this button the whole combination completely resets so yeah um we're doing a tutorial today and yeah let's get right on with this tutorial so first up what you're going to want to do is get some buttons down obviously so grab any block of choice and some buttons I like to do two blocks so build up one off the ground like this make sure it's like that and then make it too wide or if you just have a regular wall already just make sure that you have this piece like that just like that okay so to make four you place here wait so let's see one two three and then this is four and there so you can put as many as you want and yeah okay so now oops now what you're going to do is place blocks like this for your buttons this thing can go as far as you want and yeah so then just place around the buttons like this and then most importantly add your buttons <laughs> okay so place it like that okay now what you're gonna want to do is grab some more blocks I like to use circuit blocks you guys don't have to so then go out to the back and place two from the back of each button and then what you're gonna want to do is grab some repeaters redstone droppers hoppers comparators and yeah okay so so say this is where you're gonna choose your combination so say you want it um one two three so on the buttons that you don't want to click place two repeaters and then the other ones place redstone and then a repeater so whatever your passcode is put redstone and then a repeater if that makes sense Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is go on like this and place a hopper facing up on each one of them. Just like this. And then what you're going to want to do is crouch and place droppers facing forwards like this. And then what you're going to want to do is crouch and place hoppers like this. If you guys didn't notice, um, my HUD turns clear transparent or whatever you want to call it there see look at the bottom you can't see it until I tap on it so yeah and then what you're gonna want to do is crouch and place comparators on those droppers facing forwards and then what you're gonna want to do is grab four or how many how many uh, T flip flops you he flip flops you have any so put any old item that you don't really need or just some <laughs> so just do this in the bottom one make sure it's the bottom dropper or you can put it in the hopper and then it'll go into the bottom dropper just like that okay so now what you're gonna want to do is put is grab another block well grab your blocks and uh, I'm using circuit blocks as I already said so on your one with repeaters with just repeaters you're gonna place some redstone and then on all your other ones oh no on all your other ones you're gonna place a redstone torch so grab your redstone torches you're gonna place it just like that and then you're gonna go out one like this and place it all like that perfect 
So what if what if you go out of the so say you have this outside of the um what am I trying to say? Never mind. Okay, so now what you're gonna want to do is place on one side a redstone torch, whichever side you have your door on. You're gonna place a redstone torch and then grab another circuit block if you're using circuit blocks. So then place redstone, and then place, wait. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna place a repeater, and then redstone, and then a repeater, and then redstone, just like that. So make sure you do that. And then you're gonna place your door just like that. Well, this can hook up to any part of your door. This is just how I'm gonna hook it up to a regular iron door, just like that. And now what you're gonna want, this is, now it's time for the reset system. See, the combination works. The combination works. And if I press this one, it should shut it off. Oh, wait, we did the, we did this wrong. I did this wrong when I first made it. You're gonna place a block up like this. Break that redstone and place that. Oops, I'm sorry. See, it closed the door when I press it again, it'll open the door. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is place a, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do is make the reset system, and how you're gonna do that is grab uh, another block, if you're using circuit blocks, and go up like this. So your button's gonna be right on the inside of your door, just like that. So then you're gonna place it like this, and then there's gonna be a repeater, and then just make this same thing over. You Since you're, yeah, just like that. All the way over like this. And I don't need this last one because there's repeaters there. This is resetting the combination. See? It'll reset the whole thing. And somehow that fell out. That's never happened to me before. Wait a minute. What? That, this never happened before. <laughs> uh, if that happens to you, um, sorry. So press these, and then the door opens. Press this, door closes. Okay, it didn't happen again. Okay, that was a little weird. Okay, so this, how many times did I say okay that time? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. And I'm out.